just, well, let me just one more okay. sec. Yeah. We're going to be starting. I personally like to be really punctual on starting the, the, the presentations because I know time, time is really uh, scarce nowadays. So we need to respect um, the availability of others. So Hello, Milo. I'm just starting in a few seconds just to get everyone ready in the meeting. Hello. Hello. Well, if you want, if you want to participate from this very beginning, while you just tell me where you were talking from, you can uh, write or open your mic and tell me. Uh, yeah, you should still still driving. Well, be careful. I hope this yeah. conversation don't bother you while you are driving, and I hope you enjoy listening to this uh, presentation and um, that it might be of great help for everyone because this is uh, the topic we're gonna be uh, exposing. I, I'm gonna be presenting today. Well, I cannot, I cannot see right away the comments and questions on Facebook, but I'm going to start up in respect for the ones who already are here. Uh, so uh, just to give you a short definition why I'm making this uh, presentation on the daily helpful detail. First of all, we should define what is a daily helpful detail. Because uh, in, a, in a daily basis, we pass through different uh, things, different situations in our lives. And uh, most of the time, we don't pay attention to details. But uh, there are some particular details that are really, really helpful, not just for ourselves, but for others. Uh, so these uh, details are helpful uh to ourselves as a person because as uh as much attention we put to the details of something we are doing for example if you are driving you need to pay strict attention to the the path to the equipment to the device to the vehicle you are driving to any sort of sounds surrounding you to to, uh, to people walking on the street or in other vehicles, cars, motorcycles. So there are a lot of information going on in this simple activity of driving a car or a motorcycle. Uh, but that's why we, sh we should pay strict attention to the details because those details are, uh, are gonna help us to uh, avoid accidents, prevent from uh, doing something that goes against our own lives. But not just on driving, even if you are, for example, working as a, in a store, if you are working uh, as a, a salesperson, as much as you pay attention to the details that the, the customers, that the clients are going to tell you, uh, a bad, much better will be your performance on that work. Uh, you're gonna understand much, much better what the, the, the other person uh, wants from uh, you as a customer representative, but also from the company you were working for. So when we can pay attention to those single details, um, we can help ourselves and we can help others around us. Uh, so this is how I would define the daily helpful uh, detail. I, I used this word uh, daily because uh, this is something that happens in, in, in everyday life. 
we should be paying attention to every single detail in our lives. So nothing can pass us by and um, get us distracted in the middle of the way. So uh, we, we could talk about some important techniques of atomization and application of this uh, idea in the, the daily life. Why do I say atomization? Because in daily life we have several activities that we must pay attention on. But uh, if, if we can break down step by step of these activities, much better will be our understanding and uh, much better can we help ourselves to perform those activities and help others performing the activity. When we talk about this uh, topic, that it's not actually, we are not talking just about attention, but attention is one of the attributes we can point out to pay attention on these helpful details in our daily lives. But when we are talking about the daily helpful details, uh, actually we are uh, trying to change some sort of mindsets. Uh, when we think about the helpful details, that it's not just for helping ourselves, but helping for others, we are talking about a kind of uh, fraternal mindset, like a, a brotherhood. We, we are talking about uh, living with other people and helping them by doing specific things uh, based on paying attention to the details. So this uh, fraternity mindset is something that we must work and develop so we can have a sense of, uh, of working collaboratively. Uh, another really, really important uh, mindset is the, the mindset of recognizing what you are thinking, feeling, and uh, doing yes most of time most of the time we don't pay strict attention to what we are doing so we just go by the flow we just leave what the environment and what the situations uh, tell us to do so if we don't pay attention to what uh, we are doing now or to uh, what we are thinking about the what's going on in the environment. For example, when you are in a meeting, like a work at work or uh, at school, it doesn't matter, and you are there, surrounded by people, and those uh, people are discussing and trying to get to a point or to. Uh, deal or make some sort of negotiation but if you are not paying attention to the external part of this conversation what people were saying the words that people are using uh, how the people are uh, acting behaving uh, in their attitudes and also, if you don't pay attention internally to your thoughts, how you were feeling about what the other person is saying, what you were thinking about it, uh, are you having second thoughts about it? Uh, because sometimes we are just, uh, we are not strictly paying attention or uh, to the details. We are just seeing a blur, whole situation, something really, really blurry. Let's use this word and the details are sort of faded this is not something that uh, we can see with clarity why we cannot see some uh, events in our lives with clarity because uh, we are not paying attention to all of those three elements in this situation involved in this situation our thoughts our feelings and our actions we are just paying attention in one of them yes there are a lot of people that works they are super mentally they are thinking about 
every single situation, but there's no action in the real uh, world, in the external world. Uh, on the other hand, there are people that likes doing a lot of things. It's a, a wide range of per physical performances, actions, but there's no reflection. There's no internal thought that uh, can help us supporting the, uh, the actions itself. If I could point out uh, another uh, mindset that we should work on to better uh, improve this idea of daily helpful detail is the mindset of self-censorship. Uh, you, you might think, uh, but censorship is not something good. I, 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 I shouldn't be self uh I shouldn't be censoring myself if I want to do or create something. Yes, no, uh, when you think about censorship, something bad comes to our mind. But most of our actions, thoughts, and feelings throughout the day um, are not positive enough to make a big change. So in, in, a, in a way, we should be censoring ourselves, not blocking ourself, ourselves from thinking, feeling, and doing things. But we should be commenting what we are thinking or doing, not in a way of, um, uh, of preventing us from doing so, but in a way that makes us aware this word is really important awareness of uh, what we are doing and the consequences of doing so and uh, this is a, a third mindset yes if i could also uh, give you a, a fourth mindset that we must be working on it's the mindset of living together uh, this conviviality of this uh, ability, this skill of living together is something that uh, it's not everyone that has developed yet. So, in a way, we should be working on this also. How we can live together by control, not controlling, force, forcibly <laughs> controlling, but uh, Paying strict attention to the what we are doing, what we are thinking, and uh, commenting, making changes, uh, uh, repairing some action, past actions, trying to fix broken situations, uh, broken things. Also, this is something that it's really a daily helpful detail. For example, if you will have something broken at home, that might be um, a piece of uh, china, a piece of, uh, I don't know, glass, the window glass or something. Uh, every day there's something we could fix uh, at home. So we could uh, find ways of going for this and fixing those things, making this uh, environment a little bit better by our own actions. Because fixing those things uh, is, is going to help us as a person because we're going to have the, the place in sort of in order, organized. But we can also help others by doing so, because the other other people that live, uh, as I said, living together is one of the mindsets we'll be working on. Uh, by doing so, by fixing parts of the house, parts of the the place where you live with people, will make people feel they can trust you and they can. Um, they can have you as a responsible person because you are taking actions. You are not um, pretending to be happy 
with every every detail, every situation that apparently is right, but if you check in details, you're gonna see that uh, there are some uh, door stop that's not working and the door keeps on hitting the wall and you could be working on uh, a door stop or something. This, those are <laughs> uh very simple things we we could do in a daily basis to make our our lives uh more harmonious harmonious well uh we've been talking about the definition for the daily helpful detail we've been also talking about some uh, important mindsets we should be changing for these, for achieving sort of uh, details in our lives, and uh, I should, I could also point out to you guys some uh, some uh, personal uh, situations I've been through that makes me think about this uh, this topic the daily helpful detail uh, for example detailing each other's needs on a daily basis uh, most of the time we don't pay attention on uh, our own needs our own needs and other people's needs because we know in general that most uh, that all of the people all of us need to eat sleep and um, take a bath uh, keep the high, hygienic work but uh, we don't think in the specific needs of every person in detail we don't think about detailing that what other people need because we are so attached to this idea that we are all the same that we need the same thing all, every day that we don't pay attention to um, every person's or personally we don't we don't take every case personally one by one uh, by working as a teacher I have been uh, facing these uh, this topic with a great important uh, of great importance because every person that gets to me as a student they have specific needs uh, not just for uh, learning this or that topic first but they also need some uh, didactic or some um, teaching and learning uh, specificity, uh, specificities. They, they need me to adapt myself to their learning styles. Uh, not just adapting the word choice, but adapting the, the sequence of, uh, as, uh, of tasks of actions I'm requiring them sometimes I need to be really really detailed about what I expect from them so this this I I also I'm also forced to work on um, on this part of myself of planning of planning in details something to my students and this is something great because I've got to know how important is detailing each other's needs on a daily basis. Uh, also, uh, this brings me to an empathic attention to the, the person that is being helped. Uh, if you are a teacher, a nurse, a firefighter, a post, a post officer, a police officer, uh, you are there to help people to what uh, they uh, the people wants to achieve something they want to get to something they want to survive they want to recover from a disease they want to learn something they want to apply their knowledge to build something better and uh, become more uh, healthier wealthier and uh, we are as teachers, nurses, doctors, and all of those uh, occupations, all of those uh, jobs that work with assistance to others, 
uh, needs to be empathic, needs to have empathic attention to this uh, help to people, the people we are help, uh, helping. There might be really, really controversial, uh, there might be really, really controversial definitions for empathy. Uh, some people might think and say that empathy is uh, putting yourself in some other shoes. Some other people might say that empathy is something not, not really emotional of, um, of uh, yes, yeah, so we, we, we can put ourselves in some other shoes, but uh, staying in that place for a long time might be really, really extenuating and um, not helpful at all. So we, we don't have to be really, really uh, sentimental about empathy. Uh, empathy is, re is really important if, if we are uh, helping other people. Because empathy helps us to understand what the other person needs. But just by being empathic, we you are not gonna get the details of the uh, person's need. Just by being an empathic teacher, an empathic nurse, an empathic firefighters, police officer, post office officer, uh, just by being empathic. Uh, it doesn't mean you're going to get the other people's needs in detail. To get uh, their needs in detail, you need to be available to perform some daily tasks aiming to help them. Because uh, most of the time we take for granted that we are helpers, that we are... Uh, to live in peace or that we are uh, people that are trying to develop ourselves. Just taking this for granted, it doesn't mean we are really performing daily tasks, daily action on doing so. Just, be, just getting your diploma, your graduate degree in the university that tells you you are a doctor, that you are a teacher, that you are a nurse, it doesn't mean you are really helping people. To, I think that we must be available to perform daily uh, helpful tasks to, to get to this point. This is not something that we take for granted just by getting a degree. It's something that we have to work on on a daily basis. It's an everyday, uh, everyday action. There are some other topics that I, I could uh, point out to you to make this idea of the daily helpful detail more uh, even clearer, clearer for you to understand what, what it is. Uh, daily helpful detail is a daily healthy coexistence with the with the group, with, with the, the co-workers. I know it's really really hard to keep uh, a long-term relationship with the person. With our family, we keep a long-term relationship because uh, we are sort of forced to do so. We need a group and. Uh, the group needs to accept us. So I know there are really, really tough and difficult families that they don't accept some sort of uh, some sort of behavior, some sort of uh, personalities, identities. That's why people are uh, fight against uh, the families most of the time. But what I what I see that it's more common is that even if the family has some sort of resistance on uh, on changing some paradigm, most of the time the family give in and they accept uh, sexual orientation or some 
If the person wants to work in a job or occupation that the family uh, doesn't see as a real work. So most of the time, the family tends to accept with a sort of, with a lot of uh, restrictions and resistance. But uh, is it, it? It's really possible. But there are other groups that we must be living with that are not an option. Well, that actually, that's an option. We, we make a choice of living with part of the world. For example, the school we, we or you, the school you study at, uh, you can change your school, you can change the group, your, your group of friends, you can change the, your work, you can change from one company to another, you can also change the your occupation. Yes, you can. We uh, we can always have a second uh, choice on this. And by doing so, uh, by having this possibility of changing some groups, uh, most of the time we don't make any efforts to. Uh, to have a healthy coexistence with that group. Because nowadays, when something is broken, we just change for another, for a new one. We don't think about repairing things. We don't think about fixing uh, objects and situations. When a situation is broken, we just uh, shut the door and go for another, uh, for a second situation. So making this exercise of a daily healthy coexistence with other, uh, with, with other people in a group is a really, really uh, hard task because we are always going to hear this voice telling us that we don't need to make any efforts of coexisting with people that we don't like. But on the other hand, if we go for this, if we make this effort, if we make this a hard task that it's daily it's not like uh, i have a good relationship with my co-workers this is not permanent it's something that we must work daily uh, every day when i uh, get at home from work when i used to work in a in a company or a school and not remote or even remotely it's possible to have some arguments with people but every day when I get home without having any sort of arguments with the person or uh, I thank myself for doing so because it's not easy to go through uh, 12 hours of um, a day where you have to commute from one place to the other, drive or, get, or go on subway. Uh, then you have to work with people and then you get back on this public transportation or uh, the traffic jam. It's not easy to not find uh, reasons for um, putting up arguments or putting up discussions with other people. So when you can do it, when you can have a more uh, healthier coexistence with others, you should be thanking yourself for doing so. You should be giving you positive feedback uh, provided by you. And as you do so, you will also start receiving feedback from uh, provided by your friends, by your family, because you are really engaged in changing the way you behave with other people. Uh, I can see Munawar is here. If you want to make any comments, feel free to interrupt me uh, at any time. Let me see if we have any questions. It's really important to send your questions if you are not understanding the the whole thing you could be asking about a specific detail in the presentation 
because if we, you ask from a single part in the presentation, we can uh, expand this uh, question to more topics that would, would, would be of great help to understand what actually is the daily helpful detail. Uh, we were talking about the, the, the feedbacks we can receive from other people and also from ourselves. Uh, this these, uh, these uh, feedbacks help us to prevent some sort of uh, depression because sometimes when we, we fight with a person at, at work or in, at school, or even if the situation is really good and we don't have any feedback, we don't know actually what's going on. Because um, it, when we don't have any conflicts, <laughs> it's quite impossible not to have any conflicts going on. That might be like external or internal psychological conflicts going on. But when we don't have uh, conflict, apparently we don't have conflicts going on, we tend to get depressive because we don't uh, we, we feel we are not being noticed so this depression results from the the clarification as to the help to person person's self optimization so when we, we we as much as we improve we have this self optimization of ourselves we tend to develop new uh, mechanisms of feeling bad. That's really contradictory and paradoxical. Uh, so we might think, well, well if I'm uh, improving myself, if I'm self, uh, if I'm self if developing myself, if I I am finding ways of being a better person. Why should I be confronted with new ways of being depressed? Uh, this is, I, I have just said it uh, like some minutes ago. When we, f we don't find conflicts in the middle of the way, we tend to think we are not being noticed by others. Uh, so if you were in a really, really calm, situation feeling you are on the beach uh, feeling the breeze uh, drinking your uh, favorite cocktail and nothing of uh, happens out of a sudden uh, we start feeling bored <laughs> we can feel bored even if if we are in our uh, most magic and favorite and expected vacation or holidays. Uh, if nothing happens out of us, out of blue, something that uh, that is really unexpected or that tends to create a conflict in us, we feel um, bored. We feel bored. So this detailed perception of the development of uh, helping others and ourselves is really, really important. Uh, having this perception that we must be helping ourselves and even when we are improving, we, we tend to feel that nothing is happening around us we need to focus even more on the details because inner inside that will be more conflicts that we tend to solve. First of all, we should be we should start solving the most evident problems. If you have problems at work, try to solve these problems with the boss or with the, the colleagues. If you can't solve the problem, you should give up. You should find another job. You should uh, be part of a, a different school. You should be studying in a different place. Uh, also trying to solve the problems with your family, yes? If you cannot be really accepted by your family, you should 
not change family because it's, that's quite really impossible, but you should avoid going to those family gatherings that it's not so happy. Uh, this is a piece of advice I could give my best friend. And it works because as soon as you start solving these big problems, uh, you will feel that everything is going right. You find ways of renting an apartment in a different place, getting another job that it's even more well paid. Uh, we'll start having a different uh, circle of friends. And uh, suddenly you're gonna feel uh, better and uh, at the same time bored <laughs> because not, there's no other external conflicts going on. This is why that, that's when we should be even more detailed on our perception of the, about the conflicts and the percep perception of the development of helping ourselves and others because inner conflict will emerge from this uh, place of calm new conflicts internal psychological deep down on our veins on our skin will uh, emerge and we we must be ready to solve all of those conflicts as well we, but you might be asking, so in someday I will be a person with no conflicts. No, this is not what I, what I mean. I don't think there's a person in this planet with no conflicts to solve. Even if you are really successful on work, if you have the perfect family, if you have tons of money to spend on things that there's always going to be a, a conflict that might be uh, internal conflicts or there might be external conflicts as well. Let me see if we have any questions. Uh, we've got a, a question in here by Priya. Uh, do you apply? Do you apply these daily, this daily helpful detail to everyday life? Yes, I try to be a detailed person, not just on the work I'm doing, I'm doing. If I have to work something, I like uh, researching things in details because I think every piece of information I could bring on a paper, on a lecture, on a presentation, that might help uh, other people. And also that might be of great help to myself also. Because I think when we research something, we are the first person to be helped to buy the information we are researching on. So I try to apply this idea of daily helpful details to my everyday life. Um, there are days that it's really, really difficult to find details to pay attention on. As I said in the beginning of this presentation, Sometimes the conflict or the situation seems to be um, a block of uh, information, a block. Of, sometimes we look at a situation, we, we, we are so involved in that situation that we cannot actually see parts. Uh, let, let's solve this part first and then we go to the other part and then you solve the whole situation. Uh, when we, can, we could break this down, uh, as I said in, in, in the beginning of the presentation, when we can atomize, make atoms, we, when we can break down the, the matter yes, into different uh, particles, in different, into different 
parts, blocks, uh, it's even easier to apply, as you said, Priya, apply these uh, technique of uh, daily help or detail. Let me see other question in here. Can you can you make clear about the effects of applying? Can you make clear about the effects of applying the daily a helpful detail in your life? Sure. Uh, one of the effects, as I said, uh, is this effect of uh, solving conflicts. This this effect will help a lot because uh, as much of the task as much uh, as many uh, parts of a situation you solve, better you will become on solving uh, problems. And also, there's the effect of paying attention to this detail. Uh, the paying attention to detail is not just the, the way of doing the things, but it's also an effect. But as much as you pay attention, as better you will become on this. So uh, you will make less effort to pay attention to what people are saying, how they are saying, what you were thinking about what people are saying, how you were feeling when you listen some sort of words or some sort of ideas. And uh, you will start, one of also the, the effects will be the paying attention to details before and during, after uh, each interaction. So before the interaction, you will know, for example, if you go to work, uh, when you are commuting, when you are in the middle of your way to work, you will start feeling you are paying attention to the details, to your thoughts, to the situations that uh, are happening in the environment where you were uh, commuting. If you go by train, if you go by bus, you will start perceiving different situations in the place. Uh, also the landscape. If you go by car, you'll be pay, pay, paying attention on the the conversations you have with the people that goes by you if you are carpooling you will also pay attention on the news on, on the radio uh, and when you get to your work uh, you will pay attention during your interaction with your peers with your co-workers or your family or so the, this uh, effect of paying more, even more attention to the details before, during, and after each interaction is something that uh, it's uh, it's something that that will grow as much as you apply this idea of breaking the problems down into pieces, solving one by one, paying attention to every single uh, detail of other person's need paying attention on your own needs because you are always commenting inside your mind what the, sit what, what the, the situations around you uh, demand from you. I hope I have uh, answered uh, your question. Do we have any other questions? Well, uh, you can send your questions, you can post questions, comments. Uh, uh, I also ask you guys to follow the page, click on a sign up, because uh, you can receive further uh, notifications for meetings and uh, events like this one. Uh, one other information I should be, uh, I could be sharing with you, it's the etymology for this idea of uh, uh, daily helpful detail. If you think about the word daily in English, that means it's uh, our a compound word that comes from day, uh, which is the period of 24 hours, and li, which is a suffix for 
creating a, an adverb. So daily, it's a, a word that comes from the Middle English and also from the Old English, daily. Uh, this word is a cognate in many, many languages. For, for example, the Scottish, they have uh, Dali, daily. The German, Low German, Dagel, Dagelig. I'm sorry for my pronunciation, but I'm just telling you that this word happens in many, many other languages as a cognate. Uh, also in Dutch, Dagelig. In German, Tag. Uh, Taglich, uh, in Danish, Daglich, uh, in Swedish, also Daglich, in Icelandic, Dagligu. Uh, so the word daily, it's a really, really old word in, in the English language. It comes from the old English. Another word in these few words theme that I brought to you today, the daily helpful detail, is the word. Uh, Helpful. Helpful also is a compound word from a, a root, the word help, and the suffix full uh, that, that makes it sound, uh, become a, an adjective. So the word help uh, is, comes from the Middle English help and also from the Old English help. And help means aid, assistance, relief. Uh, help is a cognate in many other languages also. The West Frisian, uh, they have a word for help, which apparently is written the same. They have Dutch, hope, with a U. The Low German, help. The Swedish, hjälp, or help. The German, hilfe, uh, or hilfen, or to help, that means help, assist, aid. They also have a word in Danish, help, and Norwegian, help also. So as, as the word daily, the, the word help comes from the Old English and uh, many other languages in Europe that comes from the Proto-Germanic languages have the same, uh, structure of word. Uh, and finally, the term, as we are talking about the daily helpful detail, the term detail derives from the French language, detail, or detail, detail, detail. <laughs> that means uh, a small piece or part or a minimum element of a set. Uh, the, uh, the tie also means particular uh, particularity of an element of an ensemble, and these words, the the word detail, uh, come uh, came to, into English from the the Latin uh, word. So uh, we could be talking about the invasion of England and. Uh, how different words from French, Latin, uh, Portuguese, and many other Latin languages came into English. Uh, particularly this word, the detail, or detail, uh, happened, appeared in French in the 13th century. So it's a really, really old language, uh, old language to use. <laughs> and so, uh, when we are talking about the daily helpful details, we are talking about minimum elements of a set of um, a set of things that we can use to help, to aid, to assist other people in a daily basis every day. So these small pieces of actions, of thoughts, of ideas, of um, elements can be ensemble in a way that we, we will become even more helpful to other people and for ourselves.
Well, uh, we're staying by here. I thank you all of, of you for watching to this presentation. Uh, it's really, really nice to be talking to you about these topics. Those are really interesting topics to talk about. I hope you enjoy the next two meetings. And if you have any questions, doubts, uh, feel free to send to my email. Uh, Danilo with double L period Sanchez with a Z by the end at gmail.com. You guys also have my WhatsApp number, my phone number. Um, try to connect with me through the social media. It's really important to get these uh, feedback from you. Uh, I hope this uh, sort of detailed presentation might be of help, of great help for you uh, to apply in your daily basis, in your, in your daily life. If you have any questions, doubts, okay, get, get in contact with me. And I also would like to invite you to subscribe to my uh, online course I have on English. This is not a, a specific topic on English. Uh, I'm, open, I'm opening up subscription for, my, for new students on this semester. Uh, I, per, I offer personalized classes on English. Uh, so this is an individual uh, activity. Uh, this is not a group activity like this meeting. So if you want to get these uh, private classes, also get in contact with me. Thank you so much and see you next time.